So just got done with the run. Um, this is the first one back. How many weeks has it been since I worked out, Blair? Like three, four, three. Like three weeks. So yeah. I, I, I haven't done any kind of workout. Uh, so a run was really rough today. Actually carrying that box back, was it yesterday? Cause that was tough. First run went, I'll just say, okay. Uh, I found out the length of my driveway, if I run all the way to the end and all the way back, it's 0.2 miles. But uh, I actually ended up getting so not great. It's a 0.8 mile at a 8.35 pace. <sighs> Didn't quite. What? Even when during my best running time, that's still a better pace than me. An eight minute pace is better than you? Aaron. Yes. <laughs> I'm a terrible runner. I like sprints, yeah. but like my goal would be to do an under 10 minute mile. I'm that slow. Under 10 minute? Yes. And that's like if I'm running consistently. I'll be thankful. Yeah. This, this light is harsh. Pretty sweaty. I'm gonna take a shower and then uh, run off to work, uh, leaving Blair at home. <laughs> hey, Blair. This is my home now. Yeah. So leaving here, her here, I guess. It has been, yes. So this is the room that we'll be in for a couple weeks. Um, a light. <laughs> and a bed. Yeah, a And a chair. That's nice. And decorations. Oh. Grace. Because Eva Grace. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her it's all set up. And this one's actually really cool. First of all, cool. it's got some storage in here. But then uh, it rolls. This thing. You know to work it yet? You're yeah. supposed to do it from the other side, but it lowers. Yeah. Look so how, when they grow, look how low that gets. And then you can also make it taller. You figured that out yet? Uh, yeah, it's at the tallest. Yeah, or make it shorter. shorter. And then look at these little things. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw those. Good and fun. then we spent most time putting diapers away, getting clothes organized, and we are now washing all of her clothes. There's some Stuff. random things. And then books. Yeah. I hear the children love the books. And then her little cute. And then diapers. So cute. And then all of these drawers are gonna be for clothes. Which are in the washer. Yes. I'm gonna go put in the dryer now. Baby! Baby, go potty! Did you already get oh. Boys! 
And look what he's doing immediately. <laughs> Good boy, Brady. And what's next, Brady? What's what is this happy boy <laughs> doing? Did y'all have a good day? <laughs> oh, boys. <laughs> At least you're cute. Oh. <laughs> Brady, did you have a good day? <laughs> did y'all have a good day? We did. Okay, we're gonna eat now. All right, so we got a lot of stuff settled at my parents' house. Um, washed a ton of baby clothes. I didn't realize we had that many, but we got a ton from the shower. Um, my mom's gotten us some. I think your parents have given us some, which I don't think we've even gone through yet because those are still at home base. Um, washed a bunch of clothes. I got a bunch for the baby shower. And so we're pretty much set on newborn clothes. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to go, like I'm going to have to change her a couple times a day to go through all of the outfits that we have. And so we got, Which we may do. Yeah. I, I don't see why not. I don't have anything against it. So we got all of that washed. We washed all of like the, the burp cloths and the, the blankets and swaddles and all that stuff. And then y'all saw that we got the room set up and so the plan is we're gonna have the baby. <laughs> Obviously, that's step one. We have the baby. And then we're gonna be staying at my parents' house. They're in South Austin, which is, they're pretty dang close to the birthing center. So if anything happens, you know, or the or the hospital. The hospital's also there. Yeah, um, so if anything happens in those first couple weeks, we're gonna be super close to where we need to be versus being out here. Um, and I think it's just, the adjustment to parenthood, having more space, and being close to where we need to be. That's gonna be a good, just a really good stress reliever for us. And then if he has work stuff to do, if he's got like anywhere to be, but I'll have my mom there. So it'll be nice to be close to home for a couple weeks. And then probably after about two weeks, we'll kind of evaluate where, where we're at mentally and see if we're ready to move back to the RV. And then we'll come back here and we'll still have support close to us with his parents. Um, so it's gonna be good. But I'm winded. Do you have anything to add? No, I'm just watching watching you run out of air. I don't know, the only thing that I wanna add is just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna still have to work probably through the whole, whole time. I'm hopefully gonna get some days, I mean, I will get some days off. I'm gonna make some days off. But, um, and then after that though, like I really wanna focus on that house building. So we're doing the, uh, foundation soon and so <laughs> once the foundation's done which I know we keep talking about it's, it's gonna move fast but it's just getting that foundation right it just scares me so that's where we are that's another time that's another talk so yeah I feel I feel good and more nested he keeps using the word nesting but I you feel, did <laughs> I feel good and we got a lot set up there I do need to go through more of the clothes I just got to a point where I was like I can't they're so tiny and there's so many different ones I just I want to organize them I get I get tired and so I didn't finish organizing so we're gonna do that when we go over there on Sunday uh, more organizing I'm gonna bring some more stuff that we have from the house lots to do but we're getting it done so I feel good I feel a lot less anxious about our our plan than I was before because I know now that we can retreat back to the RV when before we didn't have any space. But we made space and we're still making space. And hopefully the next task is to remove that heater. Yep. Move that bus. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Maybe we should hold against the eye.